Good morning. Uh, so we are here. We prepare this uh, presentation during uh, this night and uh, after yesterday. <laughs> oh, so it's uh, just an intro about uh, uh, three plugin, ZK Pivot Table plugin that is uh, already released, and Ideaki is uh, the creator of the plugin. And then uh, on the same idea, we duplicating and uh, created a ZK chart plugin, and then uh, we will uh, look at uh, the uh, Telegram plugin. Okay, sorry. Uh, so first of all, about me, probably you, a lot of the, you know me. Uh, I started like a freelance consultant, and uh, I'm an enthousi enthusiastic uh, Linux user group. Uh, I work uh, as an employee, uh, as an IT manager in uh, some companies and then uh, I had experience uh, in SAP and uh, Dynamics AX uh, and uh, since uh, uh, 2012 uh, I work uh, in uh, with Empire and uh, from the last two years uh, we create a, a new company in Italy that uh, uh, follow the business of Empire for enterprise companies and this is my profile and this is Hidaki, up to you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, hello. Thank you. I am Hideaki Hagiwara from Japan. I am creating IdenPair plugin for Japan. I call it JPL. JPL uh, means Japan plus IdenPair. JPL is localization of IdenPair and distribution of IDMPL for Japan. But sometimes I create plugin for everyone in the world. If you have been used my plugin, please tell me that. If to do to did you so, I am very happy. Thank you. Okay, we start with ZK Pivot Table. Who knows this plugin? Who have uh, got a luck, uh, look on the, on the ZK? Because uh, uh, you know, we have to uh, say before, it's uh, not uh, open source. Uh, it's not uh, included in the uh, open source uh, uh, of ZK. So uh, please uh, pay attention to license. Uh, so uh, after we will look at the ZK, ZK chart. Uh, uh, this is the price. Uh, I don't know exactly about pivot table because uh, they don't public the price but uh, I think not not uh, not, uh, not so much uh, so uh, the plugin is implemented by Ideaki uh, we discovered in uh, uh, his uh, repository and uh, I suggest you to have a look at uh, the maybe we can open the no? oh, okay at the repository on, on the web and uh, also with the the, the pivot table there are a lot of other plugin like uh, matrix and simple input uh, very interesting the uh, repository uh, ideaki is uh, not so present in the groups uh, also for the language like me but uh, you know we can arrange about languages okay this is uh, <laughs> oh maybe internet okay okay first of all uh, after you install the plugin, you will have uh, uh, the, a new window that uh, it's called Pivo. Do you want to speak? Or you, uh, I want to explain it. Uh, or oh, please. Okay. Well, because uh, we use uh, for two customer and we are happy. I think it's good, very good. And uh, this is the configuration. Very, the configuration is uh, uh, very simple. So you can uh, link to a table or uh, to a view. Uh, much better. Like. Uh, uh, we are talking about business intelligence, uh, so uh, I think it could be better uh, to have uh, a, a, a view that comes from the sales order, then to, to delivery, then to uh, invoice, then to payment, and then, and so you can, you will, so this is the order example, but uh, you can create uh, a lot of uh, configuration, and then you have to create the form and link uh, to the window that we created before. 
So my idea is, uh, and how we implemented, is uh, to create a, a lot of uh, multiple form that is connected to a specific uh, view. And uh, the result, uh, after we will see that you can, uh, uh, which are the parameters you can uh, set up inside this window. But uh, after you have the, the form in the menu, uh, you will have uh, this window. And uh, this is for user. So you can uh, have uh, ready set up. So uh, you know, a pivot must have uh, a row, a column, and a value. This is the minimum <laughs> uh, needs uh, to, to make a, a pivot table that you can prepare some different business product value, business group uh, quantity. And so it's really easy to touch here and have different uh, layout. And then you can drag and drop also the column. And uh, so you will show the report, the result of the query. And then you can manage and uh, drill down the, the, and then you can also export. Okay, we can, we prepare it also, maybe should work. <laughs> okay, uh, we can log in and take a look at what we see on the slide. Uh, okay, this is the, the sample, so uh, this is the pivot window configuration that we saw before. And we are 18 different pivot window. We select uh, all the fields uh, that are available in the, in the window. Then the, we, uh, we can uh, set up uh, some different default. What we see before uh, from the big button here, there are some different default. We can change it on the left. We will see it's very simple. And then uh, we have other translation and some other fields. Uh, then, as described, we have this one, we can see, like, uh, we created some acronyms, so it's very fast to find. Uh, resource attendance is like a resource assignment. Uh, and, uh, okay, this is, okay, we can change and then uh, go to client level, so we can use it. Agree me. Okay. <laughs> Check if I'm I do the in the right way, but I'm sure. Okay, uh, this is uh, the new demo. Okay, we can try with uh, this one. Okay, and so you can filter. You can add filter in uh, the configuration before. Then you have different uh, configuration. For example, we can take this, but we don't like this field. For example. Then we click on the view report. Okay, not found. Uh, so the filter was <laughs> too close. <laughs> okay, we change the data. So we are looking at our uh, uh, resource assignment. It's something a little different, but it's the same. So we will use the view report, and then the query is done, is here. And we will have organization and then the resource. So we can uh, <coughs> close this, and then we can open. And then we are organization and uh, resource. But uh, if we don't like, uh, we can on the fly take the business partner group after the organization. And then we have uh, client, partner group, and then resource. Or other, you can add everything. Uh, you have the quantity here, but uh, we can also. Uh, maybe we could have uh, an amount here. Amount, ten tons. Maybe this one. Okay, so you have also uh, amount. So you have quantity amount. So you can also uh, split in uh, by data. Is uh, the more obvious uh, selection for column here? Oh, sorry, some <laughs> translation <laughs> are missing. Sorry, <laughs> we prepare. Uh, so you are uh, you have uh, here, and then you have month. But uh, maybe we can also have. Uh, no, we we didn't. Okay, we, 
we can also uh, divide by quarter, by week, uh, whatever you want. It's just it's it's a, par a parameter in uh, Window Beacon Four. So this is very easy to configure and also is very uh, good uh, to to view all the information uh, in, in a pivot uh, table uh, to analyze data from uh, every table, sales, uh, voice, uh, whatever you want, and. Uh, uh, this is easy also for end user that is not all oh, uh, too many fields too many uh, you can collapse and uh, just select what you want only one if you also need one and then you have your view with your information uh, at the end you can also export on Excel and so you have the the, the output in the Excel what most user wants and then they will do whatever they want. Okay, this is uh, uh, the, the the first step. Uh, any question about uh, this? Because uh, uh, now we will uh, something to add uh, to information. I mm -hmm. was clear enough. Oops. So this is configuration. You can conform, configure fields. Fields are could be for filter or only to for result, and uh, you can configure easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, from the same idea, we saw in uh, the zk uh, site that uh, there is also the zk chart, and uh, we. We create, uh, this is the slide from the site, and we duplicated the same uh, things. So you have a chart window configuration when you can put, and it could be sh the next step is to share, and uh, the this slide is clear. When you have the output of your pivot table, what you want? Then you want the chart. So you can, do or from this you want directly the chart up to you so are, are related but the first step is uh, to create separately and then uh, make a link so the structure is uh, almost the same and uh, the result uh, is uh, working in progress because uh, there are some uh, uh, problem about uh, multiple charts that needs uh, different information in a different XML way so it's n uh, it was just an idea to propose you if uh, it is interesting for the community. Uh, okay, we can have a look also at the chart. I think the system uh, is almost the same. We can have a look at, but <coughs> chart window configuration. Okay, we there are some uh, advanced fields like column query fields, uh, max query fields uh, that uh, because if the query uh, select uh, one million records, uh, you can stop the query uh, with some parameters. Uh, you we, ca we can have a look at the field. These are field maybe is a query criteria or not uh, on the display. And so it's, it's really easy. It's uh, copied by default the MPRA uh, setup, uh, operation of the query of the field uh, like this. And uh, the other tab, we this is oops. Oh, and on the chart there are no no default on, only on the other. And uh, the the same to create the form is just the same. So we have. Uh, Sorry. The form. So we can view the the chart here. Okay. Uh, so you link the ID of the table of the chart window configuration. So the chart ID is one million. You put in the form the ID of the configuration. Okay, so we can have a look at the 
uh, implementation, but the result is uh, in just to see something, but it's not uh, finished yet. <coughs> BI chart test, okay, and uh, this is the same. So we can uh, drag and drop. Uh, there is no default here, is uh, so you need to, to add the product, for example, and then you add the quantity here. Uh, then you can select the chart. We can, I don't know the result there. Uh, open, uh, pay attention, and then we have the chart. Okay, so we the layout is not really what, uh, but uh, it's it's. it's uh, in testing. So uh, the next step uh, is uh, uh, already you can print, download the image and the PDF. Uh, so it's a uh, not bad uh, solution. So you can also, like uh, the pivot table, uh, make a field in uh, filter. So we are here we have only two fields, but you can have a, a lot of fields like, like before. Okay. This is a chart. Do you like? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's based on the same idea, it's just the same uh, chart and pivot table. Okay. Charts, charts is also from the interface. Yes, the, the, the price is, uh, is, is, uh, is written on the here, so it's. Uh, no, what was the, the Was here, and it's uh, um, 429. Uh, but is uh, uh, I asked uh, uh, is for developer, so uh, the the license uh, uh, if I'm right uh, I don't <laughs> please check it uh, is for developer so you you have to pay uh, every year this price but you can use uh, uh, every time you want for for 100 customer is the price is the same so pay one and use uh, how many times you want so I think is. Not bad. Okay. Uh, next step is uh, what we are doing with the Telegram bot. I think uh, most of you knows Telegram. Okay. And uh, oh, that's that's not covered here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, Telegram bot. We the idea is uh, to use it. Uh, to give information and to get information. So one user is in front of the computer and uh, have to message, to inform, to uh, just uh, in uh, uh, the, the, the user knows that he's going to inform the one user on Telegram, but probably not. They are just doing what uh, they do every day on, on the system. And then sometimes there is a a notification by Telegram, or uh, you can uh, have also a, a notification like uh, I I look at the, at the invoice, uh, I check that uh, something is not correct. Uh, I want to make a notify. Then uh, I can write an email. I can uh, make a lot of things. Uh, I think Telegram could be a good uh, uh, way to uh, uh, to communicate uh, the, the, the the information. Uh, also, you can uh, have Telegram and uh, read information from the system. So you can uh, have. Uh, well, we will make uh, some example. It's just based uh, with. But so uh, the answer is uh, what we can do with the bot. Uh, okay, if we go to the site of Telegram, uh, uh, I think that in the last year they made a lot of improvement. What you can do uh, with the bot. We start with uh, some uh, base uh, uh, things uh, like messaging, messaging inside, in, uh, and messaging out from the system. Also, um, documentation like uh, reports. And uh, sorry, mistake, mm -hmm. system task. And uh, uh, also run some script or, or read some, uh, some other. Uh, so, but uh, there are a lot of things. That, uh, also, location, give uh, contact, uh, and uh, something more complicated. Okay, uh, I don't know if somebody created some bot uh, inside uh, the, the system. It's very simple. We can uh, 
called the bot father they call okay and uh, you can create a new bot you can uh, step by step then you create a bot and then uh, you give uh, you you take the a token then when you get the, the token you go okay you go to uh, to the client <laughs> level we add the tab uh, we call it uh, telegram hadi client and we put the, the token here so uh, the next step is uh, the authorization process so you can uh, call the the bot so like uh, a, a new group so but uh, you i suggest you i just written you must have a name some uh, user one, 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 your profile okay username you no this is my sorry this is on your uh, settings you must have a, a username on the base system if you uh, install telegram you sometimes I don't, I don't know if the now is mandatory but uh, you don't have the username the username is uh, mandatory if you want uh, to co have a communication with api so sometimes you get an error because you don't have the the, the username when you have a name you make a call the the idempiere uh, register the, <laughs> the 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 call with the id of the user i don't know came from where it came from this number and uh, this is the request then you connect uh, to a user okay you must uh, uh, profile the user inside the system and uh, and connect to a telegram so in possible in, uh, in theoretical is you can have multiple telegram bot inside the same client for different purposes maybe for external people maybe for sales department maybe for technical in uh, for a different bot so it's very flexible from this point of view can you show that full screen please sorry can you full screen that please oh sorry <laughs> okay uh, so you make a request on the telegram real then you get the the request inside and then you add the uh, link without this you are not able to do anything you are not authorized to to connect to the, the, the to the bot okay after this you are able to do a lot of things some things okay so the first thing uh, we we will try okay it's a uh, it's a common thing we, we like to copy so we just take the broadcast message and we copy to telegram bot broadcast message and we say uh, we make a new bot we say ciao the target could be client role user and then i select marco longo okay i made this and i take this one okay. I'm here okay so this is our group telegram no and then I submit yes and then I get the message so you can write uh, everybody is uh, registered or all the so you can have a, a really broadcast message to all user uh, link it in the bot or uh, from role or from user this is flexible but is manually so uh, good but I, I say not enough okay second step uh, hmm we can oh sorry uh, too fast uh, this is the um, chat inside the Empire we change it something so we uh, add a chat type so uh, in the next step uh, could be possible to add multiple kind of messages maybe whatsapp maybe is uh, maybe sms uh, or whatever just to be flexible okay then you write here uh, the 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 difference from breakfast is that uh, if you are inside the the system for example you are in invoice sorry invoice customer yes okay we are in uh, our customer 
I hope to, uh, I create, uh, I don't pay attention about uh, name, but uh, everything is obfuscating. Uh, okay, uh, we, we are looking only at uh, the invoice of 2019. Okay, maybe we are looking at this uh, invoice. Okay, and uh, we say, oh, we see that uh, this uh, invoice is not paid. Ah, we use, uh, oh, we ca you, you can look at the, uh, we use a lot uh, uh, field style, so the user have a, a user experience good. This uh, the voice could be draft, uh, draft. Uh, I think is most common this way. So I see that is not paid, and I know this is uh, the invoice uh, from uh, Andrea, and uh, I have to pay it. So uh, the the customer must pay. We are in ca invoice customer, invoice customer, right? So. Uh, I check that uh, I don't have the payment. I see that is th there is no border. So for me, it's is uh, is far to, to check that is no payment. Uh, then we can uh, say to you can write uh, here if you know the name or uh, oh sorry, select message. I write here. I select the destination. Okay, and then. Uh, Please check the invoice. Invoice and call the customer. Yeah. <laughs> Submit. Then the, 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 the user that uh, responsible for accounting will uh, get the message. Sorry, uh, we was not able to obfuscate the, the final EP, so I will show the real link of the server here, but you are able to link, so this is a permalink, so the user, without doing nothing, could uh, uh, go to to the original record inside the system. Okay, I just go out. <coughs> okay, so can just re-click and go to the invoice and check the invoice, so it's very useful for the user. Which invoice? Ah, the invoice of Pedro. Pedro, which invoice? A invoice, uh, Pedro has uh, 20 invoice. Uh, uh, so it's that invoice. So it's uh, really easy for this way. Okay, uh, this is uh, coming from the inside the system. Then uh, you are out of the office and uh, maybe you need information. So you have your telegram on your desktop, on, on your smartphone, and uh, you can go inside the so you will uh, receive a lot of message from the company. Check this, check this, do this, that. Oh, and other things uh, we can do, uh, uh, also we use this way, is uh, uh, task user. This is a li little uh, simplest e extension of uh, doing task. It's just an example. Sorry for the system. Uh, okay, and uh, then we have uh, a lot of uh, something to do, something to... Okay, we have this task. Okay, and uh, we are looking at the status of the document. We, are, we can... Uh, what is behind this? Uh, this is a, a rule, a little rule that called the broadcast message. So the, the rule get the, the, uh, the, the information from this window call the broadcast and then send the message. So you can create a rule for every every window inside the Dampier and you can uh, customize. Now is uh, uh, by hand, so it's not really easy for the end user to do it. But uh, if you can customize, you can say, okay, this is work, we are working on this task. We will uh, start tomorrow, we can schedule, we can add uh, the, the data, the uh, whatever you want, then you can say this, and when you save, the, the, the user that in, is, is involved in the, in the task will receive the link with the task. So the end user could be a technical, could be a developer, could be everybody what you want, could uh, link uh, the, the task and go to the task and add the work hour, add the everything uh, they, they need to, to add in the system. So this is a second way to use uh, information from the system to to external because uh, a lot of us are a lot of time outside the office and uh, you are not always uh, lo logged in uh, into the system so
we can uh, now have a look at the... Uh, no, first we can uh, look uh, at the bot, so it's much... Uh, okay, this is the bot that, that the user is uh, uh, have on the Telegram bot app and uh, then uh, the Telegram bot has a menu okay, the sorry is not uh, all, all, all translated but uh, you know we we had a few time for to do it is uh, the top menu then you can create a different menu with the different wing each menu can have other menu and so on you like a, a tree and and then you can uh, uh, add the different things uh, this did this depends on what teleca telegram uh, propose on the uh, on the API system so you can uh, look at telegram and uh, there are sorry there are a lot of uh, API now so it, it's very complicated but uh, st and the starting point uh, could be Okay, we can uh, read information from Idempiere, so uh, I'm out of office, I want to know what my guys are doing in the office today, yesterday, and so I can link uh, and I see data, developer A is uh, work conference conference at 8 o'clock, uh, this morning I was doing this. <laughs> okay, and uh, so you can have uh, some, you can, uh, it's, it's just a, a query. So you can ask to the system whatever you want, new order, um, invoices, amount, whatever you want. It's just uh, active project. Okay, this is our active project. It's just an example. I don't know exactly if they are active customer. Whatever. Okay, then we go back and we can use like a simple app, but uh, the the future from this uh, our chart report. Uh, Maybe we're not able we, uh, to a few times, sorry, but it's working. And uh, you can, uh, uh, we can uh, make a request to Jasper Report that uh, create the PDF and send us the PDF. Uh, so you can also have a list of um, actual uh, sales order. Then you click the sales order and you get the PDF. This is very interesting. And then the last is uh, to do make a task. You know what tasks are in the Idempire. And uh, so you need uh, to run uh, the backup. Uh, then uh, you have Telegram. You don't need to go inside. Uh, few we started two years ago and was very not stable. And uh, we, as uh, Telegram, uh, sometimes uh, uh, was down. Uh, have uh, heap sites uh, in Java 8. Uh, so we have a task here to restart the uh, server. <laughs> was not really beautiful. We delay it now because it's very stable now. It's uh, no problem from this way. But you can uh, run a task for uh, whatever you want. Uh, one customer of us, uh, um, we try to, to open the gate of the company with this. So we will write a, a, a script inside the server, then we call a Raspberry that call another thing that call the gate. And the, you push this and you get the the beautiful thing said that uh, you have a log who opens the gate who close the gate when who where uh, it's not bad and another thing said that, that uh, everything is, uh, you can uh, so uh, summarizing is you can ask us uh, as uh, you can uh, make a query from the system you can get information like a uh, document uh, like maybe also chart whatever report uh, you can also <coughs> make uh, interaction uh, we create uh, this uh, inventory and uh, if you click here you ask uh, for a code and you make uh, uh, a inventory so it's very really simple way to make inventory uh, physical inventory way uh, Okay, I go out from here because uh, now, okay, we are inside a, a process, okay. 
so it's very okay how can you set up all of this what is behind of this I think is not bad uh, this is the sorry Thomas remember me to <laughs> okay this is the uh, telegram bot uh, uh, configuration so we create a window with the, the tree so you create created the tree here the mm, I like uh, one things of this project uh, that uh, on telegram you don't have to do nothing everything is managed from identity the the menu you you saw before inside telegram I create here and this is what uh, we we saw before so if I need a new query I just add here and you will see on telegram uh, so it's very easy and uh, also everything is managed the security is important never forget about the security so uh, the, the, the the method access is uh, specified uh, line by line so, uh, me info menu system each value must uh, have a, a role access so you can uh, specify a specific user so in example of the gate if I am employee that is able to uh, to open the gate and then uh, I <coughs> uh, the employee go outside the, the company I just uh, delete this and uh, or delete the user for telegram if uh, but uh, if is it's not able uh, to open the gate I delete the line and it's not the the, the user doesn't see the, the the item in the menu so it's not able to open the gate and whatever you want so uh, and you can select here the telegram action so here now you will see we will have a message uh, report uh, something but uh, in theory if you go on uh, the site of telegram you have a, a, a lot of things uh, you can uh, add on like uh, location so you can uh, give uh, to the user exactly the location where to go with the map uh, and so there are a lot of uh, beautiful things to to improve on the on the system and uh, okay i i said it already everything from idempere nothing uh, from uh, telegram so it's easy it's clear and uh, you don't have to manage uh, <coughs> many things Okay, uh, we can. Uh, ah, if we can uh, have a look on client, not system, but the real client, we added uh, a telegram with the token here. we saw before then uh, we have the the request of the user so we have the user we link to the telegram and then to the to the user okay and uh, this is the setup of telegram so this is the menu is a summary level and this is what I asked before the so this is the table you can specify every table you want okay then uh, you get the message so, so you can uh, link to context uh, and whatever you can add uh, every filter so where order by whatever you want and uh, this is the contact document insert ah yes you can also insert some uh, sample table so some you want add uh, Marco, two hours, product, task, done, close task, something like that. You can also insert inside the enter. You can you make a call and then you get inside. You make some uh, example. And uh, this is really easy. And uh, this is what we talk about uh, role access. So you have uh, access to menu, menu on the summary level, then on every single voice inside the system. Oh, maybe, maybe that's that's all. Thank you. Any question?
please. Thank you. No, no, it's not a problem because it's a wor it's not really finished. So I think we will uh, release. Uh, uh, you know, never have time uh, to. Uh, I don't like uh, to release something that is not really finished. Uh, so this is my my not good. So we will finish. Uh, I think we saw in, uh, before the before Christmas. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Marco, thank you for uh, this presentation because I can confirm this concept. We use Telegram boards a lot, like two dozens of them. A lot of our employees use them with all these nice layouts with buttons. We do cycle counting. We do our field personnel, uh, hmm. which uh, is supposed to check our uh, goods on the shelves. Hmm. It's reporting with this thing, so it's working. We also haven't reported because we are not satisfied with our <laughs> with our work still. But it's very powerful instrument. It's actually uh, it's actually a emulation of web uh, hmm. of application. The nice thing is that every Android or iOS phone has its tele has Telegram working uh, from the very beginning. So you're not supposed to. Uh, uh, download to them. They can uh, they can use Telegram from their store, App Store, and it works all over the uh, on any device. And also, uh, we we check Android development, and uh, also it's very it's, it's not easy to do. And uh, this is we started um, as a joke. Well, I, because I like Telegram, so I think what we can do with uh, with this. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, we are in the middle way, so we are happy that uh, it's, uh, it's good. that's good. Thank you. Uh, first job, and that next. Second, <laughs> second one. Is it maybe uh, a question? Uh, we are using Slack. Mm -hmm. It's similar to Telegram. Hmm. Uh, yes. I can imagine. Slack is paid. You must pay for Slack, right? Yes. Yeah. Telegram is paid. Yeah. And okay. when you have, like, 60 employees. You say something. Okay. And you have buttons. That's like allowed to have buttons on this page. This logic. You have buttons. And on my phone. But the, the usage, there are many solutions, so including REST and mobile. I also implementation. I will also talk about that. And uh, this is one way how you can interact a single way. So I'm not having a big interaction uh, from the bot management. We actually have multiple layers of uh, menus. So, like Matryoshka, you know? One inside the other. You drill down. Uh, so it's actually like an application. But th tell us what uh, are the the feature of Slack that uh, is not... Uh, uh I cannot compare because I don't uh, know Telegram. Oh, well, well, Telegram is very yeah. simple, but... I well, just imagine, like, what's a very high uh, concept I understand. Uh, but I think uh, uh, behind of this, you we we really, we don't spend a lot of time to do this, not not really. So uh, maybe it, it uh, starts because you can create the menu, so you can create your own menu. It's not... Uh, fix it and behind the menu you can uh, create uh, whatever function actually not everything is managed but uh, potentially is uh, Chaka? So on your demonstration when you were clicking on the things below that was that's called a menu right? On the telegram? On telegram when, when I did here gave options back to telegram those, those were menu items correct? Yes. Is there any other chat app that gives you the option of sending back a menu or is telegram the only one to my mind it's the only one now well, I, I also agree that's very oh yes feature. also because you don't have to do nothing there right. we know it emperor it's easy to manage and so it's a uh, it a good uh, thomas I'm not so used to but uh, what happens when the user just writes a message to you uh, 
it can uh, this uh, maybe is registered from the system but if the system doesn't understand this uh, you can uh, put it on the on the log if you want to write but uh, I'm not uh, looking at the, this but is a uh, logged so the service is a uh, uh, is ah, you cannot write um, I have a problem y yes you like yeah um, I, I think you can uh, do like uh, this like uh, this sh should we create a task uh, I, in, in, instead of inventory then uh, this is a process that is beginning and then tell me the the problem then you write the problem then you go and then this is the second step and then go home you can also No, not at the moment. <laughs> there are a lot of things to do. Uh, this uh, just... Uh, if the ADMPR side is listening the chat? Yes. Or, or you have a demon there calling? Or uh, is we, uh, yes, there is... Uh, I think we have to ask to under the developer, exactly. I know that is uh, made by API, maybe a server letter that is uh, listening... Uh, you, you listen messages and you, you decide the this way yes sure sure everything and you have uh, the, the log uh, so you can uh, uh, log everything <coughs> what they do what they ask uh, so uh, only on sales uh, site uh, sure we we just tested the inventory and it works uh, it's easy code warehouse quantity that's enough uh, really simple just to do one thing but it works so you can uh, improve everything you want because it's, uh, it's step by step and uh, answer it to Thomas you can also mm, we don't implement uh, you uh, we saw before uh, in uh, the bot tier that uh, you can uh, <laughs> you can put the slash and get the commands <coughs> this is another way so you can uh, like uh, yeah, my, my idea is to communicate give the customers I, a, I, a I, way I, to communicate with us so you can do like a standard command and to the customer for the customer for the customer we create a standard group like a chat we support customer in with telegram so the customer write before in the year and then they they can call the phone must be shut down <laughs> Thomas, speaking to a point, uh, in one hour, what it's not widely used by our customers because it's uh, Telegram is not very widely spread in Russia. WhatsApp is prevailing. Uh, they can order, make place a pre-order to to do the shop, so they can pre-order goods and then walk in and drive away. In, so in your company, they can take place orders. Yeah. How? This uh, interface, how do they do that? I can connect <laughs> if Mark if allows. Oh. <laughs> Sorry? I, I can connect with my... Uh, oh, yes, you can, uh, we can switch. Uh, <laughs> I've finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, no, another. Last question. Has anyone, has anyone added uh, Telegram <coughs> to the website? Because if, 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 if Telegram is a plugin, it's like your website. Okay. My idea is uh, also to uh, to have a chat inside the Telegram on this. Oh, sorry. On the right tab, uh, you can write the help. You will pay every for each word you write, but uh, you will have uh, help. Uh, here, good. integrated here, is, I think uh, could be a good idea. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for Cyrillic, <laughs> but it's now like popular. Uh, so this is the interface of the board, uh, which we, uh, which some of our customers use. So pre-order. This button is telling pre-order. Delivery to the shop for to, uh, some uh, high, and this is tomorrow, uh, a day after tomorrow. For example, tomorrow. 
two options for two shops. It's from the uh, location that were mostly uh, favored with this customer, but he can also uh, click this button to find the closest in <coughs> geo tagging, in geo sense, closest shop to him. I'm not sure it will work now because it's not, there is no GPS in this machine. And okay, this one. And now I can order some uh, goodies. Like these are my favorites. Okay. I can click plus. Here the basket. It's added. I can hit another one. It's added. Uh, back. Mm. My order. This is the summary of the order with the sum. And that's it. And actually, that's it. So next day he can come. He will receive an information uh, message that his uh, order is in place in the shop, and he can walk in and collect it. That's just to give you an idea how uh, complicated, a little bit complicated logic you can have here. Thank you. Perfect.